Yeah, certainly. And uh, there's so much to learn about it. And there's always new information coming out about what's right and what's wrong and things that you got to brush up on. And I'm, I'm sure navigating the healthcare space has got to be all new frontier stuff that people, is there new laws and stuff coming out for that or? Uh, so the 21st Century Cures Act presents a lot of that around information blocking where essentially you can't, it's just for treatment purposes, you can no longer say, I'm, no, I'm not sharing this information. There is some uh, uh, information around changing of fees that, you know, that can be charged for requesting information on paper. Um, so that, that law really helps. I think the other thing that it, it, it's, it's, it's really laying the foundation for is empowering patients and really saying to clinicians and health systems that we, we need to get the patient more involved. And so this was layered. So you, there, you may remember um, the emergence of uh, patient portals. So all of a sudden you could log in, and communicate with your doctor. Epic did a great job and that has done a great job with my chart. Um, and so that's great. But then you, you read studies and you, you see that most folks don't log in to their patient portal. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't understand uh, to the question you asked earlier. Yeah, I see my lab reports, but it's kind of in Latin. So like, what do I do with that? Yeah. Um, and, and so some of them uh, allow uh, feedback that you can give to your provider, ask questions and be really engaged. And I don't think as a health, as a, you know, as a, a person in this space, I don't think we've done a great job of really educating patients on the power uh, that they currently have um, because it does exist. And so there's there's been some groundwork that have been laid that have put us in a position to be successful. Um, we just need to get the patient more involved. Yeah. Why do you think it's so hard for people to get involved with their own health? I mean, do you, I mean, I, you know, it, it, you said before where, you know, people don't really care up until the point where it does matter. And so, yeah. Um, do you feel like it's just an American thing? Do you think it's just a, a human thing where we're like, okay, let's just, uh, wait it out and see what happens sure. until it gets bad. Sure. Yeah. I think it's, I think it's a conditioning thing. We have, we've just been conditioned out. So for most folks that were not born with a chronic condition or an element that, um, have, um, where they are presenting at the hospital and seeing physicians often, if you're not in, in, in that group, um, you go to the doctor maybe once a year for your physical, maybe. And you get your blood work. The doctor says, you look great. Like, I'll send you your blood work. It comes in the mail, still literally comes in the mail because who's going to check their patient order, right? You get it and you literally throw it away or shred it or not look at it at all, right? Right. Um, because there isn't anything that's saying, I should really take ownership of this and do something about it. And um, I think we could do a better job at getting people more involved and, and making this uh, more normalized. Um, because it still feels like a very black box is I can only talk to my doctor about my diagnosis because I don't understand it. I can only talk to the nurse because he or she will, will tell me exactly what I need to do. We're not, um, we haven't really been, um, and then perhaps a changing by generation, but for the most part, most folks aren't just, you know, actively going out, um, to really, to really get a better understanding of their health until something happens. That's including on the wellness side. Um, whether you're, you are working out constantly, changing your diet, um, doing things like cryotherapy, anything to help with inflammation until something flares up, like, oh, probably should figure out what to do. My knee is swelling. Yeah, right. <laughs> they come see you because they don't understand why their joints are. Right. <laughs> Exa no, exactly. And I, I saw some before where it's like only a third of Americans like work out and um, it's just crazy. I mean, that I means there's 200 million people on this <laughs> continent that don't exercise yeah. on a daily basis yeah. and so do you think this is a um you know kind of getting to the psychology of like just humans in general but do you think it's more of a uh a, a, a byproduct of the system in which we live in just like maybe em like exercise isn't emphasized enough because it's just it's difficult to have that conversation or do you think it's uh just because it's so difficult and things are in latin that people shy away from it <laughs> Um, great question. So on the wellness side, I think that um, the equivalent is if there is this, if I work out, there's an image that comes along with that, meaning I will look like this person or maybe that's your goal. And if that's your goal, that's great. You know, live your truth. Uh, but I think if we were just told over time as a kid, just have movement, right? Just do be active once a day, like walk around the block, do something other than sitting and being stagnant. And so for me, I grew up in a family of athletes. I was an athlete. My daughter's an athlete. So we're, it's just kind of in us. 
Um, so I think for, for folks like me and maybe like you and others who you've just always been around exercise, it's kind of in you to do because you've seen the health benefits of, um, you, you know, not having, you know, joint pain and things like that, uh, really, really taking care, care of your, your physical person. So for other folks that have not grown up that way or you were just not in that environment, um, it's only recently, for me at least, I'm seeing a lot of the health and wellness industry say, just have movement, just have movement. The weight will come off, your body will feel better um, and stop looking at a number on a scale. Look at how you're feeling and what your test results are coming back with, uh, coming back to because everybody's built differently. Um, yeah. Before I felt it was very much like, you have to look like this person. If you don't look like that, you're out of shape. It's like, well, not, not, not really true. Uh, there's a lot of layers there. So 